morning and welcome, welcome to, to JE News. We're live in the studio of downtown San Antonio and we're here to show you the latest weekly weather update. Here are some of our newscasters in Kerrville and downtown San Antonio to show you our current weather. I'm here in Kerrville, Texas and according to my thermometer, it's a boiling 103.5 degrees outside. Hot enough to cook eggs on the sizzling Texas asphalt. We're experiencing low air pressure in our atmosphere in Kerrville, Texas right now, which is making it very warm outside, as well as low winds of 0.7 miles per hour and a humidity of only 23%. Whoa, all of a sudden, the wind has picked up drastically to whopping 50 miles per hour, coming from the west. Whoa, back to you, Emma. I'm here in downtown San Antonio, where there are gray skies and it's thunderstorms. The wind speed is at 21 miles the rain has suddenly stopped, but all of a sudden, there's a tornado forming in the distance. It's caused by the unstable merge of high and low air pressure. It seems to be approaching closer and closer. Everybody run! <laughs> okay, enough for that. Now we're going to show you the following weather for this week and the weather in Texas. As you can see on the surface weather map of Texas, there's a cold front coming in from the south near Corpus Christi in San Antonio, Texas, as well as thunderstorms in San Antonio and high air pressure coming in from the south. And in the north, it's sunny, bright and sunny in Kerrville, Texas, and the, you can see a warm front coming in from the north near Lubbock and Kerrville, as well as low air pressure. You can tell that there's a stationary front as well in between Kerrville, Texas and San Antonio, which is due to the mixture and the merge of low air pressure and high air pressure. For the week ahead of the weather, starting with Sunday, we're going to have, as you can see, lightning, rain, gray skies, and thunder. And for that's going to happen all day. And then until the next morning, it's going to start to clear up, and we're going to have mostly sunny weather, still some clouds in the area. But then that night, the north is going to cause a lot of winds, and we're going to have a cold front, which is going to make it very, very cold tomorrow. And with just the right amount, of humidity in the air and high and low pressure, we're going to experience a 100% chance of snow. But later throughout the day, it, it will melt, so we won't have that much. Maybe we'll, we'll most likely have less than a foot, but there will be some, and that will melt overnight because the next day it's going to be very, very hot, sunny all day, very nice, clear skies. And then Thursday, the hot and low air pressure is going to merge together to create tornadoes. There will be tornado warnings, not sure how many or how long that will be, but there will be some. And Friday, it's going to start to get pretty cloudy. It's going to get humid because Saturday we're going to have rain all day. Before we go, we'd like to show you some of the tools we use to predict the weather. This is called an anemometer. And what it does is measure the wind speed. This weather tool is called a barometer and is used to measure the atmospheric pressure. This is called a rain gauge and when it collects rain through here, it measures in milliliters of water how much rain there is. The thermometer measures the temperature of the atmosphere. This is a hygrometer and it measures the moisture in the air and the water vapor. That's all for today. Have a good night.